Hey everyone, I had a couple people asking about my Ruger, the uh, SR-22, and if you don't know, check out my other video over here, and uh, basically what happened is I bought it, brand new, factory, straight from the factory, and uh, it wasn't assembled correctly, and basically I pretty much deemed it unsafe to fire, so what I had to do was I contacted Ruger, through their 1-800 number and you get redirected to the uh, the service center in Arizona and I basically talked to a representative they took all my information you know serial number what's wrong with the gun address phone number yada 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 and they sent me a they emailed me a prepaid stamp basically for a one day air shipping to their factory and I had just had to buy a box, package up my gun, send it through UPS and the next day it arrived at Ruger and then it took about seven days before I got a call back from Ruger and they basically said that the gun was unsafe to fire and that they they kind of ruled the gun to be destroyed so they decided to give me a new gun with a new serial number and that they had to ship it back to an FFL dealer so I had to give them the name of my local gun shop so they can ship it to it and about two days later got a call from my the gun shop saying hey we got your rifle or your handgun sorry and then uh, went down got the serial number and since I live in the great state of New York had to bring that little slip of paper with the serial number on it all my information all this information about the gun down to the police station and basically what I had to do was get the old serial number from the gun that wasn't assembled correctly removed from my pistol permit I'm not going to show you the front of this but this is New York State pistol permit basically it has it lists all your handguns make model caliber it's a rifle or a revolver or an automatic and then your serial number and I had to get the old serial number removed and in order for that to happen I basically had to get a letter from Ruger saying that they were the ones who were disposing of the handgun because you can't just go to the police station and say hey I want this removed from my pistol permit you have to prove to them where the gun went so I had to get a letter from Ruger and then I uh, got the new one added to my pistol permit and then I could pick it up well it was and I had to pay a $25 uh, transfer fee through my FFL dealer and uh, basically it was probably a good three week process from the day I called Ruger to the day I could take home my new my replacement but I mean overall I'm kinda happy and uh, what Ruger did actually this is the box that came in, and uh, I they let me keep. You know, you get your old lock from my the first one I bought. Got me a replacement lock. And now I actually have an extra small grip, so I have two of the small grips, and I have the larger one on my gun. And then uh, they let you keep, you know, the bases to my magazines. So I mean, I got all this extra stuff. I got two instruction manuals, you know, one from the old, one from the new. But, Ruger sent me this letter. Basically, what it states, if you can read that, that the replacement with the serial number is replacing so-and-so handgun with so-and-so serial number. And that uh, they actually stated that the replacement firearm they shot 40 rounds through with the magazines that actually came with the gun. And normally a factory will only is only obligated to shoot about three or four rounds for the gun just to show that it's working. This actually fired 40 rounds with the magazines that they sh sent me, proving that you know the gun was in working order when they shipped it. And then uh, I say please accept this complimentary Ruger cleaning cloth. And uh, basically, oops, basically what that is is they sent me you know this nice little cloth as kind of a we're sorry you know 
But I mean, I'm I'm not gonna use this. I like it's nice. I'm not gonna get it dirty, but I just keep it in there. You know, good good souvenir, I guess. So that's basically it for my. Uh, I guess I gotta say ordeal with Ruger, but they solved it pretty pretty quickly. And then just a little bit about the gun. Um, I like it. I mean, there's other videos floating around if you want to check out other people's reviews and overviews of it. But I do have, I want to say, three issues I want to bring up. First issue being, it's kind of specific to left-hand shooters, because I am a left-hand shooter. And uh, that's with the slide, the slide release. It's on the left side, so if you're right-handed, you push it down with your thumb. And that takes... I mean, for any handgun, that's a lot of pressure to push down for the slide release. So, if you want to release the slide with the slide release. Because normally you pull the slide back, push down, and let go. That's how Ruger kind of recommends doing it on this handgun. Just because it's, it's so hard to push down. Left-handed, you have to use your index finger. And you kind of have to bend your finger up to push it. And I, I can't push it down. I mean, that's... It's so hard to push that slide release that I can't do it with my index finger. So if I'm left-handed, basically I would have to pull the slide back to release it. That's my one one complaint. My second complaint, as I guess, is more of an ammo issue. But I've been using the uh, Remington Premium Gold ammo, I believe it's called. But it's you know it's Remington's standard high-velocity round which is recommended through semi-autos because of feeding issues which have been reported but basically what happened with me about I want to say within 300 shots I had about five shots that did feed but the they jammed when the slide tried to close so I didn't have the common issue where the slide wasn't going back far enough because of the recoil but it would actually you know grab the round slide it in and it won't actually feed into the chamber and then it'll jam the slide but I you know I had maybe five rounds happen out of 300 but then again that might just be in a break-in issue I mean if I put another 500 round through this I might not get that again so and then my third complaint which might be a big one which I have yet to really see anyone talk about is uh actually I have to take the slide off for this but take off the slide for cleaning your spring right here and your spring your guide rod basically if you look at the spring one end is that might be hard for you to see but one side of the spring is larger than the other this side's larger if I put it on a pin you can see it so this is the larger side that's the smaller side of the spring. And it is stated in the manual. Actually right here. Basically that the smaller diameter end has to go at the base of this pin. Because if you put the larger end in, when you go to fire this, it'll actually, since it's a little bit wider, it'll actually push past the top of this pin. And it'll, it'll break the top of this pin. So, I mean, I think that is, that's a poor design. I mean, it's not very user-friendly. If I put this gun away for about a year and then, hey, decide to take it to the range once, I forget about that, I clean it, put it together, I put it back together with this spring on this side, shoot it, I basically broke this pin. And Ruger doesn't really sell replacement parts. I mean, I should say they don't. They don't sell replacement parts for most of their guns. So this is actually something that you'd have to contact the factory about. Just for this little plastic, you know, piece. So, I think that's, that's kind of poor, poor design on Ruger's part. They should have made it a little bit better, I guess. Made it so you don't have two different size springs. Or two different size ends of a spring. 
I'm trying to put this back together. If I did that right. Yeah. But all in all, I am happy with my experience with Ruger. I mean, the reason why I bought this is to have a semi-auto handgun that's in a low caliber that I can cheaply shoot. So, and I think that's what he got, what I got here. I mean, I mean, the 22 long rifle, it's small caliber round. I can shoot it all day and spend maybe five bucks versus a nine millimeter where I can shoot two round or two magazines and spend 20 bucks. So, I'm happy. Even though, you know, a couple bumps along the way. But yeah, it's my kind of, I guess, experience with the Ruger so far. I mean, like I said, I've I've yet to put more than 500 rounds through this, so maybe the break-in period. You know, once I get past that, it'll function a little bit better. Maybe I'll get used to it a little bit better, but we'll see. Thanks.